All right, greetings, YouTube. This is Beautiful Mind. Uh, this question comes in on solving uh, absolute value inequalities. Uh, before we get started, I want to mention three uh, cases, three main cases for absolute value equation inequalities. The first one is uh, when we have the absolute value of some expression k is equal to some, some number, right? So then the way to solve that one, we would do um, that expression equals equals the number on the right, and then we're going to say, or that expression equals negative the thing on the right, okay? Um, there's more to the story, but I'm going to leave that as a, as a baseline. So I'll call this like an or flip flip, and that'll become more evident in the, in the later example, or a later explanation. So then if we have the absolute value of k is less, or absolute value of some expression is less than some other expression, um, this one I do in the following way. So I still, I rewrite it without the absolute value. I say k is less than n, but then I tack on this. This is like an and flip-flip. We're going to say negative k like this. So then you, you simplify, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. It's a negative n like this, yeah. So then you just simplify the central expression to all three parts and you're done. Um, that one is really an and flip-flip. And then this last one, we have the absolute value of k is greater than some, some n. This one, you still rewrite it, so you're going to have k is greater than n. And then we're going to do or flip-flip. So we're going to say or, we're going to have our expression... This is where the flip-flip comes. So we flip, and we get negative this. Okay, so I call this the or flip-flip. And you can essentially do or flip-flip for the for case 1 and case 3. Uh, case 2 is really an and flip-flip, but the way you have you see it written is the easiest way I know to do it, or the simplest way, should I say. Um, so in our example, now, we have an absolute value. Absolute value is what? Non-negative. So it has to be, absolute value has to be greater than or equal to 0. Because uh, absolute value is the positive distance away from zero, by definition. So then, uh, when will the absolute value be less than zero, strictly less than zero? Well, absolute value will never be negative. Um, yeah, within and of itself. So since we have the absolute value isolated, it won't be less than zero. Then we can say that the solution is going to be B. And so with that, we will end the session here. And from one beautiful mind to another, enjoy the rest of your weekend.